So as we know right now, Beyonce is doing a country album, which we love because, I mean, we are the originators anyway. So we're going back to what we're normally doing. But I love that instead of going on a 72-hour rant, she decided to just switch it up. Look at that. But I'm here for it. And she still remains very gracefully. Her name is still intact. But of course the internet is going to do what the internet do because honestly the internet causes more of the beef than the actual people. But someone said, has anyone checked on K. Michelle? They will bring the pressure to country music. Her response was, why would anyone need to check up on me? I'm one of the greatest African-American country singers of all time with no album even out. She is. Y'all been mentioning me all night. I'm just happy to be spoken to be spoke about in my genre. I love Bay and will be supporting her like I always do. And that is how you stay gracefully, right? Because we all know K. Michelle been wanting to do country music for the longest, but they made her do R&B instead. So she did it, but she didn't really want to. So that's why she ended up moving to Tennessee, blah, blah, blah. And now she's starting her whole R&B, no, her whole country career. And she's gotten a lot of respect. Um, she's been very successful in country. And listening to her interviews, she said she's found her happy space. And you can tell when she even speak on it, she's just happy. So I would love to see a collab. I would love to see a collab. And since y'all not giving her her just due, I say Beyonce after country, go to rock and roll. Just keep going. She said they gonna put some respect on my name. Don't worry about it. Child, make sure y'all follow my YouTube, Dark Skin Queen, where I post three to four videos a day. Podcasts, three to four podcasts a week. And I go live on YouTube every Friday at 7 p.m. See y'all there.